What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. For those of you that have started getting your Anabar packages, let me know what you think. Comment down below. What's your favorite flavor? Did you get all three boxes? Which one do you like the best? We are hard at work on our fourth flavor right now. So any input you guys can give me down below is gonna help. I got asked a very important question the other day, quite possibly the most important question. Ram, what is your favorite place to have a cheat meal? And I had to think about it long and hard and I came up with a top three list. One has to be a good Brazilian steakhouse. I love meat. Two, Texas barbecue once again. I love meat. And three is a Japanese steakhouse that also has sushi because it lets me get everything I love. I can get some meat, I can get some sushi, and the holy grail, that hibachi fried rice. Ooh, it's been 10 years since I've went and haven't ordered double fried rice. The problem though, as always, with regular chicken fried rice, hibachi style, is that they load it down with butter, with oil, with calories, and you're getting just in a very high volume, but also high calorie meal. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we'll be making hibachi style cauliflower flour, chicken, fried rice. All the delicious flavor, the chicken, the veggies, the volume, everything you love about chicken fried rice without all those calories. If you've been wanting hibachi fried rice at home, but hiring one of those fancy chefs to come and cook on a flat top and your home is out of your budget, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. If this thumbnail or any of the other foods on this channel look like something that you could stick to long term as a diet, don't forget the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description, has every single recipe in there broken down in an easy to use guy, which you got to weigh out step-by-step -step instructions, everything. So if uh, other diets perhaps haven't worked for you and you've been trying to build some muscle and lose some weight without choking down chicken, rice, and broccoli and starving yourself, then this may just be the game changer you need. You get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. So now if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! First thing we got to do is get our cauliflower rice. I like to buy it in these frozen steam packs because it's not going to go bad on you. And all we got to do is toss it in the microwave for about four to five minutes. Going to heat it up, thaw it, and she'll be ready to go. And while the rice is heating up, we're going to go ahead and cook our chicken. I have 224 grams of chicken breast that I've diced into small little pieces. All we're going to do is hit our skillet with nonstick and fry our chicken for a few minutes until it's done. Now after just a few minutes, we got beautiful cooked chicken breast. What we're gonna do is set this to the side and get to work on our secret seasoning. In a small bowl, what I'm gonna do is weigh out 30 grams of low sodium soy sauce. And then what we're gonna do to make sure we get that authentic hibachi style fried rice flavor is add in 28 grams or around one packet of fried rice seasoning mix. I'm using Bamboo Chef at almost any store and their Asian section is gonna have packets of these. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So we'll just pour this down in with our soy sauce and then go in with a spoon and stir it up until it's all fully mixed together. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost done. Now we gotta move on to the veggies. In a bowl, we're gonna weigh out 85 grams of frozen peas and carrots. Once again, it can be fresh, but I like to buy frozen veggies that way. I'm not stressing them going bad. So we'll just weigh these out right in here. And the final thing we'll add in is 28 grams of chopped white onions. And the last ingredient, but certainly not least, I've weighed out 96 grams of egg beaters in a measuring cup. At this point, all of our ingredients are assembled. Now we cook. Now the next part happens quick, so make sure all your ingredients are within arm's reach. We're gonna have this ready in just a few minutes. Hit it with nonstick, and then give your eggs a quick scramble. Once the eggs are cooked, toss in your veggies and your cauliflower rice. And then just go in and stir everything together and let this cook on a medium heat for roughly two to three minutes to make sure everything is heated up. And once it's all heated up, we're gonna take our seasoning mix, put it right here in the middle. Then we'll just go in with our spatula and give it a good mix until that seasoning is incorporated throughout the entirety of our rice. And then lastly, we just add in our chicken, give it one final stir, and voila. Ladies and gentlemen, anabolic dinner is served. Yeah. 
and boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic hibachi style cauliflower chicken fried rice. Ooh, that's a mouthful to say. Not only do we get this entire massive pile of fried rice, but when I tell you guys how much protein is in here and the amount of calories in this entire thing is gonna blow your mind. If you're like me and you like to eat a lot of food at once, but you wanna keep it anabolic, then look no further than this right here. If you made it this far in the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below, that helps the algorithm out. Smash that subscription button, and before this gets cold, I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's get this show started. But first, we sold out of the white chocolate cookies and cream. Thank you guys so much. We do still have a few boxes left of Cinnamon Swirl Crunch and PB&J. So once these are gone, it's gonna take a second for us to restock. So if you want it, I'd get in there, man. Code RGF10 will save you 10%, and I guarantee you get these and a bars, you're gonna love them. That's my guarantee. All right, so let's get down in here, man. Let's get ourselves a nice little bite. Okay, let's see if we can't make a mess on the table here. Oh, we already did. You got the rice, you got the veggies, you got the chicken, you got the seasoned cauliflower, rice. Looks pretty good to me. Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. Wow, the amount of flavor here is exceptional. We took the soy sauce and we diluted the seasoning packet down in it. Think of it like this. You got regular hamburger meat, right? And you throw taco seasoning down in it. What's it do to it? It levels it up, makes it better. When we do this to our cauliflower rice or regular rice for that matter, you're taking a pretty bland food in general and you're injecting it with flavor. I mean, look at that color around this entire thing. The seasoning is mixed clear in here. Then you got the veggies, you got the onions, you got the egg, you got the chicken. Unless you are opposed to chicken fried rice in general, you're gonna love this. And the thing about cauliflower rice is that much like white rice, really the only difference is the texture. Neither one of them really have flavor. The difference is though, the cauliflower rice has way less calories, more fiber. You can eat much more of it without adding up those calories, man. So it's perfect for a volume food. When I tell you the amount of calories in this entire pile of food, this might just be your new favorite recipe. Real talk. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the entire thing is only 518 calories, two grams of fat, 77 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of fiber. I don't even think I gotta explain that to y'all. That, that's perfect. I don't think macros get much better than that. And the best part is you can make this in bulk, right? Let's say you want half of this recipe. Take the other half, put it in Tupperware. It's gonna be good in the fridge for about three to four or five days. And if you wanna up the protein content, you can just add a little more chicken. Maybe you can swap the chicken out for beef. There's no rules in this kitchen, man. As long as you're eating in a calorie deficit, if your goal is weight loss and you're eating enough protein, you literally can't lose. Put that on my mama. Mm. Ooh, baby, we are down to the final bite. Not much left there, but hey, I might have jumped the gun a little bit. Let's go. Mm. This recipe gets a 10 out of 10. Everything about it is perfect. The flavor, the calories, the protein, anabolic, meal prep ability. And on top of all that, I am stuffed on 500 calories. That's an accomplishment. And if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated, so go get your updated copy. I'm trying to make dieting easy, dieting for the normal folk. I'm not eating chicken, rice, and broccoli every day, I tell you what. But this way, we can be flexible with it. We can eat the foods we love and still see results, man. That's what life's all about. When you love what you do, it never feels like work. Hit that link in my description, baby you won't regret it. Appreciate you guys, as always, the support once again on these Anabars was unreal, man. Some of y'all, like I said, should be getting your packages or have already gotten them, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for the algorithm, hit that subscription button. We got tons of great recipes, meal prep, loads of videos coming, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, there's, there's something there. There's something there. Mm, that seasoning.